the top five vitamins to boost circulation to your legs and feet. It's very important for blood to circulate properly through your body, especially to your legs and feet, which are the furthest point away from your heart. If you do have poor circulation in your legs or feet, this can lead to a range of different health problems, such as painful swelling around your feet and ankles, the formation of dangerous blood clots called deep vein thrombosis, and nerve damage can also occur, causing tingling, burning and nerve pain, especially in the feet and toes, amongst many other health problems. Although there are many different causes of poor circulation, such as standing or sitting for too long, damage in the blood vessels because of high blood sugars, or even heart conditions, there are natural ways to improve the blood flow to minimise these risks, and also to keep oxygen and nutrients flowing to your muscles, tissues and bones. In this video, we'll be exploring five of the most effective vitamins and nutritional supplements that you can use to boost blood flow and circulation. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical issues. Number one on today's list is Nartokinase. Undoubtedly, one of the best natural remedies to improve blood flow to the legs and the feet in particular is an enzyme called nartokinase. You can take 100 mg of nartokinase daily from a capsule if you wish. Nartokinase is an enzyme that's produced by bacteria when fermenting soybeans, and this has been shown to help break down fibrous tissue in your arteries and blood vessels to improve the circulation of blood from your heart and to your feet. This is a powerful fibrinolytic enzyme which can thin out your blood and it also can dissolve blood clots, reducing the risk of deep vein thrombosis. It also helps improve venous circulation to prevent problems like bulging, twisting varicose veins. However, please be sure to speak with your doctor first if you're already taking blood thinning medications. Number two is vitamin B3, known as niacin. People often have poor circulation in their legs as a result of plaque forming inside the arteries, which makes the arteries very stiff and rigid where they should be flexible. This blocks the normal flow of blood, leading to problems like swelling, aching and deep vein thrombosis. This dangerous plaque can also put you at a higher risk of tissue death, heart attacks, blood clots and strokes. Vitamin B3, however, which is niacin, is actually one of the cheapest natural remedies that you can use to improve your circulation, as it vasodilates your blood vessels, opening them up within mere hours of taking the supplement and helping the blood to flow directly through the legs to the feet. If you wish, you can take 500 milligrams of sustained release niacin, not niacinamide, one to three times per day. It's important that I note that you will feel this flushing sensation in your face, neck and chest within two hours of taking the supplement. This is a positive sign that the vitamin is working and it's promoting proper blood flow around your body. In addition, niacin also prevents LDL cholesterol from sticking to the artery walls and making them stiffer. Another thing that I should mention is that many people have fluid retention in their feet as a result of eating too many refined foods, too much caffeine or smoking. Each of these can actually deplete vitamin B1 levels, causing swelling and blood sugar problems. So try to improve your lifestyle by cutting these out and start eating two to three tablespoons of nutritional yeast each day, as this is a fantastic source of all of the B vitamins, especially B1, which can help to replenish your body and also reverse any nerve damage in the feet and the legs. If you're finding this info helpful so far, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. Moving on now to number three, which is phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are these natural chemicals that are made by plants and they often act like a natural medicine when humans consume them. It's recommended to start eating more of the following four foods on a daily basis to improve blood flow. Firstly, start eating more fresh garlic which contains allicin, a compound that thins the blood, prevents stiffness in the artery walls and reduces the risk of blood clots. Beets contain nitrates which are converted into nitric oxide, 
This works like a gas that opens up the blood vessels to increase circulation. And then you have celery, which contains phthalides, which also relax the blood vessels, help to lower blood pressure, and improve circulation to and from the heart. And finally, avocados contain avocatin B, potassium, magnesium, and monounsaturated fats, which can all help to reduce inflammation and heal your blood vessels from any existing damage. Before I move on to the next section, I just wanted to quickly say that I'm now posting videos on TikTok as well as Facebook, so I'd be really grateful if you could follow me on these platforms as well, and I'll put some links down below in the video description. Thank you so much. So let's move on to number four, which is horse chestnut. One of the main symptoms of poor circulation is the development of twisted, bulging blue varicose veins on the legs. This also can be accompanied with pain and a sense of heaviness when you move your legs, especially after sitting down for a long time. These issues can happen when the walls of the veins that carry the blood from your feet back to your heart become weak and they lose their tone. This is where horse chestnut comes in. Horse chestnuts contain a very powerful phytonutrient called acin. Studies show that this compound is as effective as compression stockings for improving circulation. If you want to, you could take 300 milligrams of standardized horse chestnut extract on a daily basis to support the veins directly, as this will help to improve problems like chronic venous insufficiency, varicose veins, and deep vein thrombosis. In addition, this herbal remedy has also been shown to help reduce swelling in the legs by protecting the capillaries and preventing them from leaking into surrounding tissues. There are also other herbal remedies which can be taken as a supplement, such as butcher's broom, grapeseed extract, and maritime pine bark, which all have a similar effect. I'll put a link in the video description to a product which actually contains all of these herbals and you can do your own research to learn about each ingredient if you wish. And finally, we have number five, which is the vitamin C complex. In order for your blood to flow freely through the network of vessels in your body, certain nutrients are necessary. The natural vitamin C complex that you get from raw fruits and raw vegetables is actually very helpful to this effect. I recommend supplementing your diet by mixing one tablespoon of camu powder or acerola cherry powder into a daily smoothie, or you can mix them and drink them in a glass of water. These are some of the richest natural sources of the real vitamin C complex on the planet, which work to boost collagen that's needed for the smooth, flexible blood vessels, and also to prevent free radicals from damaging your blood vessels further. Furthermore, real vitamin C, not the ascorbic acid tablets that you get from the store, can also boost your immune system against harmful infections, and it also helps to increase collagen in your skin and your joints. Other ways to boost your circulation. In addition to using the foods and the nutrients that we've discussed in this video, there are also some other simple ways that you can boost your circulation. One, use compression stockings to apply gentle pressure to your feet and legs. This helps to enhance blood flow, especially the veins on the surface of the skin, to move the blood back towards the heart. Two, quit smoking if you want to reverse existing damage to your blood vessels. Cigarette smoke and vaping deplete your antioxidants, leaving your arteries and veins open to damage from free radicals. Three, elevate your legs above your heart four times per day for 15 minutes during each session. This reduces pain and swelling in the legs, helping to improve the circulation. And four, if you're overweight, pregnant, using birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy, know that these can all raise your estrogen and this will weaken the valves and the walls of your blood vessels. So try drinking more water and supporting your liver in filtering out this excess estrogen by eating more cruciferous vegetables in a salad each day. Five. Wear loose-fitting clothing around your upper legs, waist or groin and avoid tight belts, as these will make the circulation worse. 
6. Limit your consumption of processed carbohydrates and hydrogenated oils, like breads, pasta, flour, sugar, grains and fast foods. Instead, you want to cook healthier meals at home using single ingredient foods, and also eat healthy sources of fat from things like wild salmon, pasture-raised eggs, extra virgin olive oil and grass-fed butter. These will help to support the tone and the structure of your heart and your blood vessels as a whole. If you're inactive, you should also aim to get more exercise, as this will help your heart to pump more blood through your arteries to your feet. And finally is a point that you really don't want to ignore. If you're like me and you suffer from chronic stress or you've had sleeping difficulties, this will raise your cortisol and slowly, slowly start to damage your blood vessels. You can start to overcome this stress by performing box breathing, which is 4444. Basically, you breathe in to a count of four, hold for a count of four, breathe out for a count of four, and hold for a count of four, and then repeat the process. This is so simple yet fundamental, as it will calm down your nervous system, improve oxygenation of the cells throughout your body, and it can also help to normalize your blood pressure for better circulation. If you have a problem with blood clots or deep vein thrombosis, I recommend watching this video that's on your screen now for a lot more information. Thank you so much for your support in watching my video today. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.